Hello, y'all on YouTube. This is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today we have a very special unboxing. Something I pre-ordered, been waiting for a long time. It was delayed, had some issues with their milling, but uh, it's here finally. It's something from Original Goat that we're gonna install. So let's take a look. All right, so today I'm opening it up with my Andrew Demko USA Made AD20. This is the AD20 in the shark's foot blade, full flat grind. 20 CV blade steel. You can see that right there. So let's go ahead and open up this box. Probably something to do with this knife, huh? All right, so it's such a great utility tool. Now, I was the last to get what they were delayed on because I actually ordered, I had asked for something a little bit extra special on there. So there's visit our FAQ. There's a kit. There we've got some OG stuff. Just making sure there's no there's no receipt or anything in there and there we have what we're going to install so any issues please contact support uh, they, they want to make sure it's 100 percent correct all right and so we get a sticker which i already have an original goat welcome to the og tribe which i already am a member of because i already put some og scales on my 80 20.5 so these are the straight lines i like this a lot but i wanted to go for something a little bit different so we went for this. Now this is with the weight relief. So let's take a look at what we have in here. These are the scales for the 8020. Not the 20.5. These are the big ones. So you, when you order these, you, the only way to ever get titanium from Andrew Demko is that you have to get them with the scales. And so that's what it's going to look like put on there. Now this is supposed to be stone washed. Hmm. It's not quite as polished as I thought it was going to be, but... All right, we'll take a look. USA made, but I mean, you know, you can always polish it up by hand. So now I believe this is the linerless kit. So uh, it's not instructions, but we'll figure it out, right? So what we have in here, we're just going to look at everything we have. It's not my first time to the rodeo. It's not my first Andrew Demko I've taken apart. All right, so these are the pins for the 8020. These are the pins for the 8020.S, so I don't need those. These are the hand hardened washers required, okay. This is the 0.5 millimeter spacer required. All right, so we're gonna do all of that. So in order to get into this, we need the tools. And these are, um, these are torque screws. I believe these are all T8s and maybe a T10 there. So let's go ahead and take a look and get our tools out. Do recommend you get a good tool set of Wea bits and stuff like that. So, all right, let's take off the clip first. Now, I already have a Lynch clip on here. This is the Lynch clip deep pocket carry clip, which I very much enjoy, and I think it's great. All right, so. The only thing that you always have to worry about is there is a spring in there and it can pop out. So be, be ready for that, right? That's the one thing you got to be aware of. So I'm choosing to do this with it down, this hardware on that side and this hardware on that side, just to try to keep everything even. And it feels like it might be a bigger pivot. Is it a T10? Yeah, it is a T10. Okay, so just in case you're curious, that's a T10. As you can see, I already have, there's a spring that's going to try to pop. I already have this gift cage bearings on here. So these are the three that we're going to probably replace over here. And it's very important um, how these go in. Sometimes it's uh, you can go in one side and not the other, and it can make all the difference. Like, for instance, when we take these off, put that over there. All 
All right then. We may need to get another tool over here. I'm gonna have to use the punch. This is crazy. I'm glad I have a punch tool, but I was not expecting that to be a little more challenging than, than that. So this is where, you know, it's nice to have a little punch tool to be able to, to knock something like this out. So we'll need a hammer, we'll need, what's the size of those punches? We're probably gonna go for maybe this size right here. I believe it. I don't need that, but I just wanted to get the, the these out because these are the ones that we're going to be replace, uh, replacing in the, the scales. But if you notice here, one has a line right here and one doesn't. And so it's very important that you understand which side goes to what. Uh, Andrew Denko does that. Uh, it allows for, I don't know, it just, it seems to be very important and it does allow for it to work better. All right, so... There were three punches. Oh, I was going to say, where's the third one? I forgot it's magnetic, so it's inside of here. All right, so we can put the punch tool away. So it was this side and this side like that. Okay. And this is the liner that was over here. So the first thing we want to do is put our little pieces in here. And it looks like it's the same, so there we go. We'll put this in here, which is a calf to pivot, so... Take the washers. It's a spacer. Not sure what the spacer's for. Maybe you might need it, I guess. I don't know. So these go like that. And then this tool will come up here like this. Put the screws in. So before we do that, these guys. Are these any of these captive or anything? I just want to make sure. It should all be fit in like that. All right, now let's get our oil because we will put a little oil on here, obviously. Do the heavyweight well first. I'll go under here. This has been extra weight relief. That's what I did for this one. I wanted extra weight relief on it. So take it off. I was going to put oil underneath, but you know what? It's going to travel right through these bearings. These are the two millimeters. These are big. That's what Andrew Dunco uses. And so when I got these from Skiffs, these are Skiff cage bearings, which are ceramic. His, um, Andrew Dunco uses the uh, steel. So let's see. I don't know if I'm going to 
need the spacer that they have because they have these looks like spacers i don't know if that's necessary for the, the slim or if it's for the uh for this one so let's see how we we go on here and now i'm gonna have to go back off because unfortunately Now it's, there. it's always a tricky thing right there. There we go. All right, so now that is flat again. Of course, these are loose, so they're going to fly. And this always happens when you take one of these apart. It's kind of a given. I always put everything together before I put more Loctite back on, just to make sure everything fits. Because, you know, they're spacers, and so I don't know, I assume that's for tolerances, or maybe it's for this one as opposed to the slim, I don't know. Maybe it's easier to give one that, oops, okay, it's a little loose. There we go. Okay. Now I take the T8. Right hand tip up only, so that means we're going to be putting the screws over here. Well, these will go in first over here. What's the first one I grab? So it should be down here. I'm not tightening everything super tight yet because I. I want to make sure everything feeds in. I need to have a little room, a little, tolerant, little give. All right, there we go. Titanium stone washed with some weight relief milling on there, which is really, really nice. Wow. Very, very cool. I like this a lot. Now, this is stone washed. I guess I was expecting it to be a little bit lighter. You can always take this apart and buff it out with the Dremel, I guess, a little bit. It is a little, it's almost like a dark stone washed. I think I asked for a regular stone wash, but I think they might be doing a dark stone wash, but. How are we dead nut centered? Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. A access there, really easy. For sure. And these weren't super light, but you know, there you go. All right, so I'm gonna put the old pins back in here and we'll put that back in our, our, in our little case because we're gonna keep a hold of that. Obviously, you don't want to lose these because these are nice scales and you never know. You might want to someday take them off for whatever reason. Maybe I want to move them to a different knife or something. I don't know. All right. Let me wipe up my stuff here. Got oil everywhere, so i going to clean that up. All right. So we are... good actions nice solid really good looks good in hand there you go okay let's put our stuff away i'll speed up a little bit nano weight 10 10 weight nano oil um i have brand new ones of these but i'm not sponsored so i don't care if you can't read it but 85 nano weight that's what i used on the lock bar and then on the cage bearings i used a 10 weight in case you're curious all right um Exactly the same thing I did with these. Now, these are different versions. I could have gotten that sort of milling on the scales if I had wanted it, but I didn't. So I went ahead and st stayed with, uh, with what we have. So we're going to go ahead and go with that. Uh, I think 
these can just go in like this. And I'll go ahead and put the, the old scales in here like this. And we'll keep all the old equipment together in here, the old pins. I might just, for ease of sake. Oh yeah, since we can obviously put these on a slim, if that ever happens, I definitely want to keep this. All right, so there you go. Here's the AD 20.5 with the original goat scales that are really nice as well. I really do enjoy that. These are these don't have the extra weight relief, so if you look inside, you'll see it's not super milled out. But these have a lot of weight relief in here, really extra milled out. And that's probably what took extra extra time because that, that's more time on the CNC and the lathe. So uh, I'm okay with that because uh, this is nice. And it's not as heavy as I would expect it to be. And I love the texture on here. This texture is a little, the, the finer lines, I enjoy these a little bit more, I think. I think that's a little nicer. So there you go. All right, there you go. That is the Andrew Demko, the 20.5 scale. So we are all set here. I like these. Um, very cool. Hey, if you have any questions about this install, let me know. Um, I'd love to hear from you. I'm going to go ahead and do some nice pictures here so you guys can see that. Let me just wipe the blade. I did cut the box, so I want to clean the blade off a little bit here. All right, so you know what? Let's zoom in first so you guys can see a nice close-up. So there's the blade you've already seen in the unboxing, but here it is in context with the titanium scales. Now, these are big, so I have to zoom and go out as far as I can. You can see that nice contour all the way around, which is really cool. And on top here, it is linerless. That does save some weight on the steel um, liners that are in there. And you're still using the same standoffs and everything. Uh, now, I had, to, I had to change the pins that were in here, and so that's fine. And then same pivot and everything still has the captive pivot, and there's the Lynch deep pocket carry clip. Then you see the nice rounded curve shape in there. There's all the little details. I'm not finding anything sharp as I reach in here. Beautifully rounded, milled. And then look at the blade here on the other side. No billboarding on that beautiful full flat shark, shark foot blade or sheep's foot, whatever you want to call it, shark foot. That's fine. And then we can see this back over here. Really nice. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I like it. All right. So I'm very pleased with this. This will be definitely be carried a whole lot more now. So, um, there you go. It is actually lighter now that I feel it. It really does feel lighter. So here we are with the back part. You guys want to see that? I'm going to look that in context. I think it's gorgeous. Very cool. Very cool upgrade from to get from um, original GOAT. I'm glad their machine, everything, everything was fixed. I know they had some issue with a water jet or something, which is really important when you're working with a CNC because you've got to keep things cool. You overheat it. Um, you know, nice. There's a beautiful polished stone wash there on the blade as well. All right, very cool. Action is great. Easy to work and flip. Beautiful action. See, look, look at that. Just absolutely dropped in. Easy to work and everything. That is nice. Still locked in there solid. I don't think I'm going to put any Loctite in there just yet because I'm still debating whether I'm going to polish this or not. I may do that just a little bit just to kind of take some of that sort of acid washed look away. So there you go. That is the Andrew Demko with the original goat scales. So I'm pretty excited about that. Let me see. Do I still have my sticker? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put that up here so you guys know what this is. This is the original, original goat scales on the Andrew Demko there. So Pretty exciting. I'll bring that down a little bit. Got centered. <laughs> All right. Hey, if you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, or informative, would you please consider hitting the like button down below? And if you've already hit that like button, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Subscribing and liking the channel really helps out the, helps out the channel. Subscribing and liking the videos to the channel really helps out the channel. Let me try that again. Uh, it help, allows me to do more things, uh, to try more things, to just basically get more opportunities. And I'll, 
ultimately more things for you guys. So thank you. Thank you to all you guys out there who watch the videos, who enjoy the videos, who watch the live streams, who are part of the comments and everything. Thank you. Thank you. Sincerely. And if you haven't already, maybe hit that notification button down below so you can be notified of future content like this video. And also a big, huge, huge, giant shout out. Thank you to my channel members. You guys allow me to do things a lot sooner than I ever thought I would. And I am very grateful for that. And I'm appreciative because if it weren't for you guys, you know, a lot of things would, I don't know, it would be taking a lot longer. But everybody's part of the channel and I'm grateful to every one of you guys. If you're out there and you said, hey, I'd like to become a channel member. I'd love to support this channel too. I would be honored. Please don't ever feel obligated. Just it's obviously your decision, but I would be honored. And as a small way for me to say thank you, I do a once a month members giveaway. It's an exclusive one. And it's usually a nicer knife. It's not just a budget knife. It's a nicer knife. We make sure it's something really worthwhile and enjoyable. So if that sounds cool to you, then I would love for you to become a channel member. The link, like I said, is down below in the description. There's three different tiers. Also, I do for every brand new channel member, I will mail you a channel sticker. So just email me with your name and address if you became a brand new channel member, and I'd love to mail you a sticker. Now, if you've been a member and you're a member right now, or if you were a member and then became a member again and you're a member right now and you never got a channel member sticker, you can also email me with your name and address, and I'd love to mail you a sticker. My way to say thank you, just a you know, just a direct thank you to each one of you. Also, uh, I appreciate all of you guys, every one of you guys, and uh, thank you for supporting this channel, and making this a lot of fun. This is just a little, you know, I'm I'm not a full time YouTuber kind of person. I do this for fun, and you make this a lot of fun. You make this really enjoyable, and make this uh, something that uh, I enjoy being part of as far as the community and talking to you guys. So thank you. If you haven't already, maybe check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.